Ever since the night that Tim was murdered, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police have said very little about their strategy that night. They allowed Vince Lee to remain on the bus for hours while he abused and defiled the corpse. In response, the McLean family filed a civil lawsuit against the RCMP. The family also blamed the Greyhound Company and Transport Canada for lack of security, as they had allowed Vince Lee to board Bus 1170 with a lethal weapon. But as for many of the locals in Manitoba, Vince Lee held sole responsibility for what had happened that night. They thought Vince was criminally responsible in every way, and even though he might have been in a psychotic state, they don't believe it would have lasted for days. They didn't believe he was in a psychotic state when he purchased the weapon or brought plastic bags onto the bus to hold the body parts. One one week after the murders, Vince was brought to the psychiatric ward of the Health Sciences Center in Winnipeg. Manitoba's chief forensic psychiatrist, Stanley Aaron, assessed him. Vince confessed everything and told him about the commanding voices in his head. He told Dr. Aaron, quote, I am the evil son of an evil god. God chose me as a killer and chose Tim McLean as a victim.